Hello friends, in the current video tutorial, I will be talking about unbundle bundle elements border node in the in-place element structure in LabB. Use this border node to perform operations on one or more cluster elements and replace the elements in the same location in the cluster. Each cluster element you bundle unbundle with the border node on the left side of the structure must be bundled back into the cluster with the border node on the right side of the structure. This node allows LabVIEW compiler to avoid storing a complete value copy of the cluster and cluster elements. So this increases the efficiency in LabVIEW. So this is the in-place element structure and I have used the unbundle bundle elements border node. How I have placed this? I have used this in place element structure. And then I have clicked on the border and used add unbundle bundle elements. So this is the node I have created this cluster and I have wired it to the name then I have used this replace substring so I am going to replace the substring by Manishura which is my name suppose at the input side I have name XYZ and age is 25 sex is male and these values are coming to the output so I have replaced XYZ by Manishwara and if I want to change the age I can change it. Suppose the sex now is not blown up. So if I want to change, make the changes, I can here make the changes. What I have to do is I have to change the structure a little bit more length I can put it here also so I can make changes so I can make change in the age so I can add so my age is more than the current age as specified so I can make changes it's 25 I have to add 16 and add 16 and this goes to my age and if the sex is not light enough I'm male so I will write just drag it down once more. So choose mail and I just have to add or put the boolean constant true make it true. So uh, uh, sex is a male. Right? So all these changes I can make and you see the changes are done. So this is the use of unbundled bundle elements border node on the in place element structure in lab. So you increase the efficiency and you don't have to bother about 
bundle unbundle functions you just put this border node make the changes and in place you make the changes on the elements and then combine those changes and create the output cluster which is the cluster 2 this node uh, so use this border node to perform operations on one or more cluster elements <coughs> and replace the elements in the same location in the cluster each element you unbundle with the border node on the left side of the structure must be bundled back into the cluster with the border node on the right side of the structure this node allows the lab view compiler to avoid storing a complete value of the cluster and cluster elements in memory the border node on the left side of the structure is similar to unbundle by name function the border node on the right side of the Structure is similar to bundle by name function. So this is a very efficient way of doing operations, specific operations on particular element of a cluster, and you can use it for any type of cluster. So this is all about unbundle bundle elements border node in the in place element structure in LabVIEW. I hope you have liked this video. Thanks for watching this video.